Hey everybody, Eric Johnson here. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. To here today with uh, David Burt in his 1969 Twin Comanche. <laughs> 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 Clipper takeoff, 1-8, you'll call her turn, 8-8-1-2, Yankee. All right, pump's coming on, we'll go ahead and go. Uh, uh, that twin Comanche and a Cessna approach, you're over, you're clear to land. We'll slow down and give you the room and we're clear to land. 9 one 6 take off. Just yep, 2 nine, tell you, number 2, Cessna has okay. all full pumps, clear to land. Number 2, clear to land, 2 9 one Here we go, you ready? I'm good. I hear the kind of electric trim. I saw that move. I'm like, what the heck? <laughs> one nine zero, Mike Echo, stay behind that twin Comanche for now. We're running one eight. All right, take off. engines are good. Take off one eight, one nine zero, Mike Echo, follow the command. There's eighty. We'll rotate, and we're airborne. Here's coming up. There's a blue line. Experimental eight, Tango X-ray. I'll call your base. I'll be departing some part. You're over. Number three. Hey, Tango X-ray, you'll call base. Twin Comanche 1 2 Yankee off your left hand side is a sport cruiser descending through 2,100 feet for that left downwind. Go another mile, then left turn proof. Okay, we'll go another mile and we're looking for that sport cruiser uh, at 812 Yankee. Ha! Ha! David, can't thank you enough for flying today. Absolutely. I appreciate it. Glad to do it. So, how long have you had this Twin Comanche? A little over a year, about a year and a half. How many hours do you think you have in it so far? Uh, almost 200. Nice. That's a good amount for a year and a half. Yeah, it's been a good bird. Yeah. I've been fortunate to get my MEI in it, and also uh, I've got a couple of friends, their uh, girlfriend being one of them, their uh, multi-engine commercial ratings in it. Oh, nice. So it's been a good bird. What are some of the airplanes, uh, what are some of the other airplanes that you've flown? Uh, previous to this, I had a, a 70 V-35B Bonanza. Loved it. Good airplane. Uh, Musketeer before that, and I also had a 1959 Comanche 250. Oh, wow. So very similar to this, but uh, obviously single engine, so this has good climb performance, a little better performance, but uh, both fun, fly, uh, fun to fly airplanes, good birds. What are some of the flight characteristics that you like about the Twin Comanche? Very stable. Uh, I've noticed that. <laughs> landing at uh, Mount Pleasant. We got to do somewhat of an approach through the clouds, and it's very stable. Pitch roll, kind of heavy on the controls, but that's a good thing. I don't have an autopilot. Um, it pretty much flies itself. You just point it where you want to go. Um, it's counter-rotating. It has counter-rotating engine, so you don't really have to use the rudder all that much. It stays pretty well coordinated most of the time. So that's nice. what I, I love about this airplane. And we can climb like today. We can climb up through these clouds pretty well. Which is a beautiful day. It's a hot day, but it's a real pretty day. Yeah. Yeah, it's nice. So, how long have you been flying? I got my private in uh, 2001. I think like December it was of 2001. So, just uh, I've been flying a lot recently, trying to get to the airlines. So, um, anything I can do to, to help, either flight instruct or just a, a day to go joy ride like we're doing today. <laughs> right. So, good times. Do you have a particular airline that you'd like to get on with? Well, at the moment, I actually am looking to start class at Envoy. Really? Uh, come January. So, yeah. I just kind of got all that lined out. Now I'm just waiting for a class date. Get up through these clouds. We'll get to 6,500 to level off there. Be a little bit cooler. It already feels and better. It's, and it's smooth here. I'll take it. What are some... Um, do you have some more memorable experiences flying? Since you've been flying? Anything that really stands out like, wow, that was a really cool event or that was special? You know, Oshkosh for me has been that deal. I've been fortunate enough to go the past uh, number of years um, with a buddy, and then now girlfriend's gone for uh, the past three years, I guess. We've taken her Mooney twice. We took this Comanche uh, this past year. Um, that's been a lot of fun. You guys had a little formation going. You had what? We had uh, Brian um, in a Saratoga, and then right. uh, Jason and his Jason. Mooney. Jason is who I've seen him. Yep. Mooney. And then in, in the Comanche. So we, uh, the three of us went up. Pretty well all the way together. And then we made at Madison Rally. We picked up another guy in a Cessna 180, and then we flew on to Oshkosh nice. uh, as a flight. What was the coolest thing for you to see up at Oshkosh? <laughs> the airplanes. 
the airplane. Well, there's so was there one particular that, that stood out, like, wow, there it is, kind of thing? Or was it just, man, all of them? Just everything. I, I, yeah. I got gotcha. you. Yeah, I'm pretty easy to please when it comes to flying. So, <laughs> um, I'll tell you that Spartan, when I when, when Shane L mentioned that Spartan, I took a picture of it, and then you posted about it coming to Met, uh, Mid America. I thought, wow, that's pretty cool. That's a beautiful airplane. Make the deal and do it. Yeah. I'd, I'd be uh, I'm anxious to see that fly. It is absolutely gorgeous up here. All right. Yeah, so we've got the 6,500 feet, getting 165 knots over the ground, getting about 148. So you want to take it? Yeah, sure. Let me scoot up a bit. Whoa, that's hot. Yeah. Hopefully that GoPro cools down a little bit. Oh, the pedals are offset a little bit. A little bit, but you really, okay. that's why I'm saying you really don't need them in this airplane. With the counter-rotating engines, when you turn, right. it kind of cancels everything out. It's really cool. So you'll feel, okay. it's kind of, it's heavy on the control, but I think that's a good thing. That's what makes it stable. Yeah. If you need a little bit of trim, you can go down or up that way. Okay. Very easy to, to trim out. Yeah, it, may, it makes you not want to over-control it with it being heavy. Yeah. She just purrs along the... Traffic, this will work out nicely just above. I was kind of wondering if we were going to get get above them. At 56 miles to go. Are there any planes that are on your bucket list? To fly. Yeah, eventually a, uh, a Cessna 180. I like tail draggers. Really? Yeah, a lot of fun. Super Cub would be another one. They're just kind of expensive nowadays. Um, next airplane's probably going to be like a Cessna 170. Uh, just kind of build the tail wheel time. And, uh, another good airplane. And just have fun with it. Fly low and slow. I really enjoy the low and slow stuff. I do too. Especially, the, I mean, the 170s, 180s, they're, they're good proven platform. They can haul a lot of stuff. Yeah. Clouds has just kind of hung out here all day. Yeah, really. Haven't really moved. Oh. Yeah, when you trim, um, you can kind of just move the, the stick just a little bit. Uh-huh. And you'll see that it kind of hangs there when you trim, but you can over trim, and then you move the stick, and it's way too much. Yeah. You kind of have to. I think that's exactly what happened. Hurry it a little bit. Tesla 4 Tango Tango, you're going to follow the Mooney on the half mile final. Keep it in fairly close behind him. Number two, we're only 1 8 cleared to land. Yeah, the Aztecs are. Said, uh, number two, they're two, fun. Two, one, eight, four, four, nine, a lot of power, you can put a lot of people in them, a lot of, a lot of stuff. Jack, get 97. But you're burning a lot of fuel. Oh, and the fiber Aztec? Yeah. Really. Versus this airplane, I can, I can get the 16 gallons an hour at 160 knots. I can also get about 18 gallons an hour and do about 170, 175. Wow. Um, on the flip side of that, which you probably can't do in any other twin, is about 140 knots and 10 gallons an hour total. So I got to play around with basically 22, 22 squared at 6,500 feet and got the fuel flow way, way down. Really? So that makes it a good time builder. I don't fly it like that much, but if you're going to time build, that's a cheap way to do it. Yeah. All right, so now we'll cancel there. We'll go to Mount Pleasant. We're good. Mount Pleasant traffic. Twin Comanche 8812 Yankee. We're nine miles to the north. Inbound GPS RNAV 17 approach. Mount Pleasant. Gears coming down below 150. Got a green light and I got a nose wheel in the mirror. Mount Pleasant traffic, Twin Comanche 8812, Yankee, we're about four mile final. Runway 17, Mount Pleasant. Don't see anybody in a left downwind or a right downwind or a base. Yeah, yeah it looks clear to me. On mains, boost pumps on, undercarriage is down, mixtures are in, weight on the props. 
All the switches are good. This video was brought to you in part by johns360coatings.com.